Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn about client side validation using jQuery in ASP.NET MVC. Before we are going to start, I would like to ask you a favor if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe my channel. Let's start. So what is actually the client side form validation? This type of form validation is done at a browser level that is handling simple constraint validation. Client side where form validation also helps in providing better user interactivity with the website while devalid verification or validation of input is being done at a server side. Let's create one controller, Let's right click on a controller, add controller, just give the name, give the name of home, the home controller is added, now right click on the index, add view, that is Now you can see that view is added. Now first of all, create a folder that is your view model. Okay, view model is already there. So right click on a view model, add one class that is your employer view model. Are going to add some properties that is your your name and your email and next one is that your salary okay so in the index I'm going to call this particular employee view model employee view model just copy this the name okay this one is done now I'm going to create one form tag and give the name that is your EMP form so inside that EMP forms, I'm going to write the code that is your div that your container that is your container. And inside the container, I'm going to write that that class. It will be the row. Then another one. Your class that is your form group so form group first uh, will be that uh, your name okay then it will be the html dot text box 4 then model model dot your first one is your name then new that attributes it class to text tensor that is done same I'm going to copy for this one for email this one for salary here I'm going to write like a email and then salary so here you can write like a salary and your email now I'm going to write that your client side code. Um, after that we can add that one button that is your input time. That is your button. The name to save value. It will be also save. I'm going to give the ID that is your button save. Now write that your client side validation. First of all, use that your script file, the jQuery or jQuery. This one, or jQuery mean.js. Now we are going to write script tag 
the type will be your JavaScript and here you can write like a dollar document dot ready function here I'm going to write create the function validation form so there is a one way to validate this one first of all that one your name so how you will validate we'll make a id selector first make a if that your id selector dollar dot id selector dot value if it's equal to equal to blank okay this one then you have can give that alert you can write like a imply name should not be empty right something like that you will write and you make the return false same like other you will do also but first i am going to add for one just like that okay if it's uh, the, your value the of name of the value will be empty then you will get that one alert message and it will return if it if you run the application for here one for more thing because it's not once you are going to click the button so you have to write code for button click just to open that your button save so it should be in button click so right here dollar your id selector your button save dot click your function your validate form your validate form okay now reload again okay once you are going to click that save there is some problem check that button save dot click oh shit if I make that save this one is save now reload click on save now you can see you are getting that one error message but uh, it's uh, not a good practice because once you have you will have a so much at that text box just like if you are going to create that your job website in the job website you will find that one there is so much field if you will use that uh, validate with this way, way it will take uh, too much time also and this this will be not efficient also and your code will be so large so how you will do just stop the debugging there is a one package there is a unobtrusive just right click add that package manage new get package browser here you can write like unobtrusive just install this one or click on i accept it will be installed now it's a finish okay so in that uh, if you will look in a just close this one if you look in a jquery script folder you will see that one is a validate and one uh, is that valid dot unobtrusive so just this this two need to add reference into to your layout page if you want you can add it here okay first one i'm going to add that validate and another one is your unobtrusive just add this two reference Okay, this two reference has been added. Now, go open that employee model. 
here I'm going to add the sorry namespace that is using system dot component model dot data annotations once you will add here now you can write here that your not display you can write required if it's not then error message error message will, will be your employer name is required whatever message you want to give in the client side you can write same like for an email if you like like a email is required and another one your salary salary is also required and now open that index.cshtml here you have to write like a your validation html dot validation message for get your model model dot name email and new this will not will be the text danger so it will be the your form control this one will be the text danger your text danger just copy your add add for another two just for email and your you can see one for email and one for your salary and this one need to change this one we will come that form control and your form control okay so here you have added that one if it's uh, check that you are checking that empty but just remove delete this one this one is not required because it, it will be the too much lengthy so call your form tag if your id selector your dollar to write like a dollar dot valid okay if it will be not valid then it will be return false that's all now everything is done just open that your view model will check your email is required and one more thing you need to check because we have copied that one so here it will be your email and this one will be your salary now if you run the application we are just i have mentioned just one small code because that previously we were using for every text box if you are checking that one that name text box is empty that's why if you will write more condition to validate so you have to write that all now if you run the application just click on save you can see you are getting that error message just to if you are going to write something just you see this is going it's, it's saying that see but by default it's saying that it should be the your decimal you should write like that okay now if it's that valid for email just stop i'm going to write like a that is your employee view model now i want to check with your email address that valid email address so i'm going to like take a data type so make a data type dot email address now I'm going to write that email error message please enter please enter valid email address okay now if you run that Okay, just click on save. Now you can see that one. You are getting the message. You write something here. It's gone. If you are writing something, 
and try to click save the salary so very demonetized directors also should come to stop to write like a email address and here you can write like a error message your enter email address is not valid that's all this one for your valid email address if it's not right your valid so you will get that this error message now run the application first i'm going to enter the name so just enter the name okay now I'm going to change right like a email address see you enter email address is not valid so if i'm going to write like a valid email address so see now you, that error is gone now if you enter that one now everything is okay this one now you are not getting any error message in this video we you have learned that how to validate that your field that form fields using jquery just things three things you need to do for that client side validation first one you have to install that unobtrusive second thing you have to add this two reference this to your validate or validate dot unobtrusive and third one once you are going to click so you have to add that your form tag you are checking here you can check that one your valid it's that your form is valid or not i hope it's clear thanks for watching